All right, so in this video, I'm just going to do an example of an uncategorized function. It's just a, just a function that really um, doesn't fall under any specific category. Uh, so let's say, I'll just do one example too, because like there's, there's countless ones we could do, but let's say we have one that looks like this. x squared minus 9 um, divided by x plus 3. So the first thing you should notice here is if we put in an x value of negative 3, we'll get um, negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0, and we'll divide x squared minus 9 divided by 0. And we can't do that. So right away, we know that uh, x equals negative 3, 1, 2, 3 right here. There can be no, no values on our, of our function that are equal to x is equal to 3. So with that said, we're going to have to reduce this and try and get rid of this fraction off the bottom. So if we simplify the top, um, we can find out that this is a pretty easy fraction. It would just be x minus 3 times x plus 3. And this is still over x plus 3. And you can just uh, you can just cancel these out. x plus 3 divided by x plus 3. And we're left with x minus 3. So basically, once we simplify this, we see that f of x um, is actually, it's the same as equal to, being equal to x minus 3, just where x cannot equal negative 3. So if we want to graph this, um, we know that our slope is 1 and our y-intercept is negative 3. So we're going to pass through the point. Uh, negative 3 is our y-intercept and we'll go up by 1s. So it's like this, and it's going to go down in this direction too. And now remember we said that x cannot equal negative 3. So we just come here, find where negative 3 is, and we'll just put a little notch in the line there. And the way we represent this is we just draw a little circle. And so that circle just means that it's coming, this line is approaching x equal to negative 3 on this side, and it's approaching x is equal to negative 3 on this side, but it's not actually at that point. So it's at like, um, this on this side, you know, it could be like, negative 3.11110 or negative 3.0001 or something on, on this side it could be negative 2.99999 and just keep getting closer and closer it'll just never touch x is equal to negative 3. And so lastly we'll just say that uh, the domain of this function uh, domain can't write today is equal to all the real numbers except where x is equal to negative 3. So the way you can write this if you want you can write, uh, make a little equal symbol, so all the real numbers, and then you just write a backslash and negative 3. Or you can just write all the real numbers except where x is equal to negative 3. And for the range, if we were to plug in the point negative 3 is x, we would have negative 3 um, minus 3 would be equal to our y value, right? Because y is equal to f of x. And so we have negative 3 minus 3. Uh, so we would have negative 6 is equal to y. So this is also where our function, this is the point, our point that our function does not exist at is uh, the point negative 3, negative 6, negative 6. So our range, write that down here, our range is equal again to all the real numbers except where uh, y is equal to negative 6. So there you go, that's just one quick example of an uncategorized function. Uh, they can look like all sorts of different things, and we'll come across lots of examples later, but that's just a quick introduction to see um, what it's like if you have to avoid dividing by zero.